Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about difference between combinational circuit and sequential circuits in digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. Now, the first point is, in the case of combinational circuit, the output of a combinational circuit depends entirely on the present inputs only. That means, at any instant of time, the output of a combinational circuit depends only on the present inputs. Whereas, in the case of sequential circuit, the output of a sequential circuit at any instant of time depends not only on the present inputs but also on the fast inputs. Fast inputs is nothing but previous outputs. Next, second point. The building blocks for combinational circuits are logic gates. That means, suppose we want to construct any combinational circuit the basic building blocks is logic gates. By using that logic gates such as AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate, we have to construct any combinational circuit. Whereas in the case of uh, sequential circuits, the basic building blocks for constructing sequential circuits is flip-flops. A flip-flop is a storage element that is used for storing only one bit of information. Next, third point, no feedback path present between input and output. So that means in the case of combinational circuit, so there is no any feedback connection between the output and the input. Whereas in the case of sequential circuit, a feedback path exists between the output and input. So, because of that reason, sequential circuits depends not only on the present input, but also on the fast inputs. That is nothing but previous outputs. Next one. Fourth point. They do not possess any memory element. So, in the case of combinational circuits, it does not contain any memory element. Okay. So, in the case of combinational circuit, the output depends only on the present inputs. Because of that reason, the combinational uh, circuits does not store any state. Okay. Because of that reason, we can say that there is no requirement of any memory element in combinational circuits. Whereas in the case of sequential circuits, so they always possess a memory element. Okay, what is the purpose of memory element in sequential circuits? So in the case of sequential circuits, Memory elements are used for storing the previous outputs of sequential circuits. Next, fifth point. These circuits do not have a clock, thus they do not require any triggering. In the case of combinational circuit, there is no requirement of any clock. So, clock is used for driving the uh, circuit. But, whereas in the case of combinational circuit, so there is no requirement of any clock. Because of that reason, they do not require any triggering. Whereas in the case of sequential circuits, sequential circuits must and should have a clock. So, to drive the flip-flop, a clock is required in sequential circuits. So, because of that reason, it usually requires triggering. Whenever a clock is present in the sequential circuits, so we have to use triggering concept. 
Next, sixth point. They are comparatively easier to design. Okay. So, combinational circuits are easier to design. To build the con combinational circuits, we have to use simple logic gates such as AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate. By using that gates, we have to simply design the combinational circuits. Whereas in the case of sequential circuits, so the design of sequential circuits are much tougher than the combinational circuits. Here we have to use a uh, flip-flops concept. So flip-flops are somewhat difficult to understand for students. So because of that reason, we can say that sequential circuits are much tougher than the combinational circuits to design. Okay. Next point, they exhibit a faster speed. That means, in the case of combinational circuits, output depends only on the present inputs so that the operation can be done in combinational circuits very fastly. Hence, we can say that combinational circuits are operated at a faster speed. Whereas in the case of sequential circuit, they work at a comparatively slower speed. That means in the case of sequential circuit, the output depends not only on the present inputs but, but also on the fast inputs. Because of that reason, so Sequential circuits are operated at a slower speed. Next one. They do not hold the capacity of storing any state. So in the case of combinational circuits, combinational circuits do not store any state. But whereas in the case of sequential circuits, they have the capability of storing any state or uh, retaining an earlier state. So that means we also get the previous state, we also get the present state, both can be stored in the memory elements of a sequential circuit. So because of that reason, sequential circuits can store any state or a store an earlier state at any given time. Next one, ninth point. Combinational circuits are easy to use and easy to handle them. Okay. So, it is very easy to use combinational circuits and it is very easy to handle the combinational circuits. So, there is no difficulty of using any combinational circuit. There is no, there is no handling of any difficulty for combinational circuits. Whereas, in the case of sequential circuits, a user may not be able to handle them and use these circuits easily. So, sequential circuits are easy to use but is uh, but difficult to handle the sequential circuits. Next point, we can make use of these circuits for both Boolean and arithmetic operations. So combinational circuits are mainly used for performing arithmetic operations and Boolean operations. Whereas in the case of sequential circuits, Sequential circuits are mainly used for storing data and information. Okay, they are used for Boolean and arithmetic operations. They are mainly used for storing data and information. Next one, the examples for uh, combinational circuits are half adder, full adder, decoder, encoder, multiplexer, demultiplexer, compar comparator, code converters. So, these are the examples for combinational circuits. The examples for sequential circuits are shift registers, counters, flip-flops. 
so these are the examples for sequential circuits these are the examples for combinational circuits next one the block diagram of combinational circuits so in the case of combinational circuits it mainly consists of three parts one is input and another one is output and the third one is combinational circuits here in this part we have to use the logic gates such as and gate or gate not gate so by you, here we have to perform any automatic operation boolean operation so by using logic gates here in this box okay so because of the reason the output depends only on the present inputs okay the operation can be done here by using only logic gates next whereas in the case of sequential circuits here the combinational circuits also we are using so in that combinational circuits we have to use logic gates for performing any operation here whatever the output that we are getting that outputs depends not only on the present inputs but also on the previous inputs for a previous outputs okay so here there is a feedback connection is there so the output can acts as input again okay so the previous outputs are stored in the memory elements okay so by using that feedback connection a feedback path the output is connected to the input whenever the output is connected to the input by using feedback path that output is also stored in memory elements so here memory elements are used for storing previous output information after storing they can be sended as input so because of that reason the output of any comp sequential circuit depends not only on the present inputs but also on the previous outputs or a fast inputs okay so the block diagram of sequential circuits contains input output memory elements combinational circuits and feedback connection so these are the 12 differences between combinational circuits and the sequential circuits i hope all of you understanding this video if you have any difficulty so please free to ask them any doubts in comment section if you really like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates it is one of the most important and commonly asked question in interviews and uh, academic examinations if you really understanding this video please subscribe my uh, youtube channel so divela srinivas rao after subscribing my youtube channel so click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel so divela srinivas rao thank you thank you one and all for watching this video